this is the room. Yes. Doctor, perhaps you can explain to me or and to the audience watching from home what is uh, brachytherapy. What is it primarily used for? Brachytherapy is actually uh, a form of radiation therapy where the radio sealed radioactive source is placed either on the tumor, in the tumor, or near the tumor. Right. So brachy, as the word comes from Greek, means short. So it's a form of like an internal radiation therapy. The source produces gamma X-rays, which is like any of the X-rays that we use, high energy X-rays we use to destroy tumor cells. What is brachytherapy primarily used to treat? Brachytherapy essentially is used a lot in the gynecological medicine, mm -hmm. like your cervix, the uterus, and the vagina. But we must also, must understand that it is part of the treatment that we need. Uh, in the complete treatment of a patient with like say cancer of the cervix. Chemotherapy, you have your external beam radiation. Now, for a patient, say cancer of the cervix, they get the external radiation is given from the outside to the tumor area. Right. But you can only give so much radiation to the area that you want to give. Mm -hmm. Remember, the tumor is surrounded also by the normal tissue. So in the cervix, you have your bladder, your rectum, your colon. Those are all normal tissue. Mm -hmm. and you cannot give so much radiation to the extent you want to damage the normal tissue surrounding it. So following the external treatment, say about five weeks or five and a half to six weeks of treatment, you cannot give so much. The additional dose of radiation that you would like to give on the tumor, and that's where you actually complement with the brachy therapy. Right. Um, perhaps you can paint me a picture. How does all this work? Uh, in the typical cancer of the cervix, you have your patient going through the treatment called um, external beam radiation with chemotherapy. The treatment usually goes about five to five and a half weeks of treatment. Once they've done that, so that's the part of the external, and almost immediately the following week we get in for the brachytherapy. That's where you want to give additional dose to the tumor only. Right. So you can see that you have the applicators, right? You have the delivery tubes, then you have the source housing for you know where it's uh, the shooter house. That's where your radioactive source comes out. From here you have your, your front passage, the, the, the tumor where it is, you place your applicators. They are then fixed in position. It could be done under local anesthesia, uh, could be done under anesthesia or under locally. So in the cancer of the cervix where the organs are all still intact, it will be done under uh, anesthesia. And then the, after the applicators are inserted in position, they will be back here. And the delivery tubes are then connected to the uh, applicators that you have actually placed in position. We actually can calculate how much of those radiation that we want to deliver at the specific area. Because remember the seeds actually travel into the applicators, through the tube to the applicators, and then these radioactive seeds stays in a certain position and we program it remotely, and that's where the radiation is delivered. Right. Uh, the radiation doesn't just stay in one spot, because when it stays in one spot, you don't deliver here. Uh, remember the seed is very small. Yeah. So you want it to travel along a length when you want to give you know, a concentrated dose of radiation. So the, the source has to move. You know? So if you want a longer length, then it's going to traverse a certain length. And the seed would move itself and because of how the machine regulates it. That's right. Got it. Once we have done that, then the radioactive seeds throw back into the source. Wow. How, how, how big is the size of these radioactive seeds? Is it smaller than a grain of rice, actually? So it's actually right. measured in millimeters. So, Doctor, to my understanding, um, confirm it whether I'm, I'm imagining it correct or not. This is the, the tube that the radioactive seed is going to pass through. That's right. And then connects into this uh, applicator? That's right. This so, applicator. Remember the applicator is already in the position. Right. So, the position where we want it to be. It passes through the cervix already and it's angled somewhere near the tumor. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, do, we, do we use one or two? Or two or it totally depends. It totally depends on the, the, the cancer per se. So the applicators are placed in such a position. And then the doctor would leave the room and... It's, it's a teamwork. We then have the physicist who, right. who, who does a scan. The radiographer does a scan. The physicist actually helps us on 
the console right. to look at how much of radiation we would like to prescribe in a safe manner such that you want to protect the normal tissue that is surrounding it and so that you don't get too much of radiation to destroy or damage the normal tissue. The patient goes through the procedure of applicator insertion and then they go back to the ward or to the room where the delivery of radiation can be given. Now, radioactive source, we handle it by hand, yeah. so it's manually, we actually take it and then insert it into the applicator and then fix it in position. So you can imagine, you are also being exposed to radiation. radiation. Um, so, so, so the type of essence is seen by human hands? Uh, no, the seed is actually in a, in a delivery tube. Right. Uh, it's all sealed yeah. at the end of it. So you handle the, the base. Right. So so probably you have a quite a pliable tube. Yeah. So the radioactive source is actually in the teeth. Yeah. Right. So you take it and then you insert it into the applicator. So the applicator again has a hollow uh, yes. you know, it's a hollow applicator. Yeah. Then you actually put in the radioactive uh, seed, which is sealed, uh, sealed yeah. then you lock it in place. So the low dose rate right. treatment can last for about three days. So imagine the patient having to stay in the hospital lying in the bed. Three days, three nights, we also deliver the radiation because a low dose rate. Once we've done that part, then we, yeah, of course, we calculate and all those things, it's a complex calculation. This treatment now, it's what, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, you're done. Essentially, the treatment is, is, is a rather painless procedure. So, the procedure basically takes 15 minutes for this one, and the next day they can return to work. Yeah. Cool. Right. Doctor, thanks for being on the show and um, showing me and explaining to me the behind the scenes of how brachytherapy works and what it's used for. Uh, and it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very Many thanks for having me. The advancements of cancer diagnostics has come a long way, and today it can detect lesions and tumors way even earlier. And we know the early detection saves lives. Thanks for watching, iMedic. My name's Ernest. I'll see you soon.